So the question says that a gas kick is circulated on surface BOP installation using driller method. What will happen to the bottom hole pressure if casing pressure is held constant while the gas is circulated from bottom to surface? Now here, let us draw one well here. And this is the influx. And well is shut on a gas kick. Let me give some number to this question. Casing read 700, SIDP is 500 and it is connected to pump. So let us understand the question. Gas is circulated to surface, driller method. So in which cycle we will have gas in the hole? That is the first cycle. In first cycle, there is a gas in the well bore. In second cycle, there is no gas in the well bore. So the question is talking about first cycle. So let us understand how we do first cycle. So first cycle, what we do is, we keep the line up same because first cycle is done with the same current mud. So what we do is we start pump to kill speed 30 SPM holding casing pressure constant and drill pipe will read ICP. So thumb rule number one is done. I brought my pump to kill speed holding casing pressure constant and drill pipe will increase to ICP. Now thumb rule number one is done. Now thumb rule number says that to keep PHP constant, keep the uniform fluid column constant. So uniform fluid is in drill pipe. Contamination is in casing. Gas is in the casing. So what I'll do is in the first cycle, I will hold as per principle, I will hold drill pipe equal to ICP and let bubble rise up the annulus. So when bubble is expanding in annulus, what will happen to the casing gauge? Casing gauge will increase. So casing gauge will increase. Let me draw a graph. So this is the graph. I'm holding drill pipe pressure constant equal to ICP. And what happens to casing pressure? Casing pressure first increase. When gas is at surface, casing pressure will be maximum. When gas goes out, casing pressure decrease. And when all the gas goes out, then casing pressure becomes constant. And when I shut in my well, both the pressures are equal, equal to SIDP. So as per principle, I should hold drill pipe pressure constant and when gas expands in annulus, casing pressure should increase. This is the right way of killing the well using drill method first cycle. So you should allow casing pressure to increase. This is the principle. Now the question says that you should hold casing pressure constant. Now the question and the principle is different. So in that case, I have to think about choke. Now since the casing pressure is increasing, how do I keep it constant? I need to open the choke, which is against principle because you should allow casing pressure to increase and hold delta pressure ICP. But here what I'm doing is, I'm opening the choke, which is not required. So what will happen to BHP? BHP will decrease because you're unnecessarily opening the choke. And if, if you open choke, all the pressures in the well board will decrease. So the answer for this question is BHP will decrease because I'm opening the choke. I'm not following the principle. So answer for this question is BHP will decrease.